Tenerife has a population of just under a million, but many more arrive throughout the year to enjoy a sunshine holiday. The most popular destinations are on the coastline of this 800-square-mile island. While Spanish is the local language, the development of tourism has resulted in English and German being widely understood. The resort town, Playa de las Americas was developed in the 1960s and has established itself as the largest in Tenerife. It is very much a package holiday resort offering plenty of places to eat, drink and enjoy yourself. Playa de las Americas is located in the south of Tenerife, the hotter and drier part of the island. Costa de Radige in southern Tenerife was one of the early resort towns that developed as air flight became more readily available. One of the reasons for this was the lovely beaches, Playa del Duque, Playa Paraiso, and Playa Fanib. Los Cristianos, with its two beaches, Playa de las Vistas and Playa de los Cristianos, the latter using Sahara sand, is the second largest resort in the south of Tenerife. With plenty of places to eat and drink, this resort caters for travelers who prefer somewhere a little quieter than Playa de las Americas. If you are looking for a resort a little away from the crowds, the answer may be Costa del Silencio, the silent coast with a few beaches such as Playa Amarilla and Playa La Bolina. It is found in South Tenerife, and only 10 miles distant by road from Playa de las Americas, but with an altogether different feel. El Medano built up a reputation as a great place for windsurfers, because of its winds. In recent years, high-rise developments seem to have reduced the effect of those winds. There are several good places still with the bay, Harbour Wall and Kazibo Beach each worth a try. The small hilly resort, Cala Salvaje is not too distant from Playa de las Americas, but far enough away to provide time to simply relax. Puerto de Santiago is on the west coast of the island, in between Las Gigantes and Playa de la Arena. It is a small resort that will suit couples and families who want to avoid tourist crowds. Accommodation includes villas as well as apartments and hotels. On the western tip of Tenerife, Los Gigantes gets its name from the large cliffs, over 2,500 feet high, north of the resort. Those cliffs look down on black volcanic sand and a series of quiet little coves. Icod de las Vinos is found in the northwest of Tenerife within the province of Santa Cruz, 30 miles west of the capital. It is located on smooth slopes in a fertile valley at almost 800 feet above sea level. Teed, a volcanic mountain, and extensive pine forests provide a great backdrop. Puerto de la Cruz developed from being merely a fishing village into a major tourist resort, the largest on the island for a time. The town sits in Oratava Valley with its subtropical climate and fruit plantations. Tourist numbers in the north do not match those of the south, and Puerto de las Cruz remains the north's largest resort. The Teed Volcano's summit, the highest point in Tenerife at over 12,000 feet, is found within La Oratava municipality on the island's north coast. The town itself is located at over 1,300 feet with a population of over 40,000. You can immediately see it is not a typical resort for those seeking sun and sand. The historic center of La Laguna was added to the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1999. It was the ancient capital of the Canary Islands, and those wanting to experience the history and culture of Tenerife must visit La Laguna, even if they do not make it their base for their holiday. Santa Cruz in the northeast of Tenerife is the island's capital and by definition, effectively capital of the Canary Islands. As a result, it contains the infrastructure required by all capitals, and that includes accommodation for both businessmen and tourists. It has historic districts, good shopping facilities and cultural entertainment. Villa Mariana de Candelaria is a city in the east of Tenerife within the province of Santa Cruz. Its population is 25,000, and Santa Cruz City is little more than 10 miles away to the northeast. Tenerife is well established as a tourist destination. One of its advantages is that travelers from the main population areas of mainland Europe face a relatively short flight, even if they are traveling from northern Europe. There is plenty of history and culture on the island with religious sites very important to Catholics, locals as well as international travelers.